Number 53. Some makes of older cars have 6 volt electrical systems. Letter A. What is the hot resistance of a 30 watt headlight in such a car? All right. So what we need to do here is we need to take a look at the given information and consider what the question is asking, right? So uh, it's asking us the hot resistance, R. What does it mean, hot resistance? Yeah, when the thing gets hot. Uh, how does that influence, uh, you know, uh, the calculation of this problem? It doesn't at all. Pretend it doesn't even say hot resistance. Just pretend it says resistance. So the resistance here is going to be equal to something. Uh, they tell us the voltage, right? They said it's a 6 volt. And they also mentioned that the power, all right, is going to be 30 watts. We got everything in the correct units, right? Powers in watts, voltages in volts. So we're going to find the resistance, and that'll come out in ohms. Now we have a formula that relates uh, these variables together. Okay, and what are they? Well, it turns out that it's going to be equal uh, power. Excuse me, it's going to be equal I squared times R. In other words, this represents the current, right? That represents the current. Now they didn't give us the current. However, we can substitute on in. So let's use Ohm's law. Right, so we know Ohm's law says, well, the way they wrote it, I guess, in the book, it's going to be that the current is equal to V over R, right, the voltage divided by the resistance. So what I can simply do is just take this and plug it on in for I. Now, when that happens, notice we're going to get V over R all squared times R. Or in other words, this will work out to the, then be V squared divided by, this is really squared on the bottom, and that R is raised to the first, so that R will cancel, and I'm only left with then one R in the denominator. Now I have everything I need, right? So it's going to be 6 squared over than 30. And we plug that on into the calculator and let's see what we get. So we get 36 divided by 30. Oh, that's relatively straightforward, right? 1.2. So the answer would be 1.2 and, uh, oops. That is the answer. However, I realized that I didn't move the R on over, but these are just going to switch. So, okay, let's just do this, watch. Magic, there it is. So, 1.2, 1.2, sorry. My brain is on autopilot at the moment. And there you go, okay. So, and then letter B, um, it asks, it's asking for the current, right? So that should be straightforward. Uh, we have a nice little, I mean, we could do this in a whole bunch of ways. Um, why don't we do, uh, use Ohm's law again, that current is equal to the voltage over the resistance. Now what we have is we have the voltage again is 6, and the resistance here was 1.2. So all we have to now do is do the division, 6 divided by 1.2, and we come up with a nice answer of 5. So that is 5.00, I guess, considering sig figs, amps. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you soon, and this answer should probably have three sig figs, but who cares? All right, bye.